<laughs> hey guys, so I'm visiting Cam this week in Vancouver, and we had a bit of a disagreement over the direction of the channel. To sum it all up, Cam wanted to go in a more educational, three minute thoughts direction. And of course I said, that's insane. Our fitness videos are what generate all our traction, all our views and all of our freaking revenue. So you'd have to be completely deranged if you were just going to cut all of that content. Anyway, I could look at this as a glass half empty situation where I'm short a sibling and a business partner, or I could look at this as a glass half full opportunity for a new goal guys challenge. In Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, author Stephen Covey talks about viewing our lives in terms of our circles of control, with our circle of direct control being things we have complete autonomy over, and our circle of indirect control. When Cam was alive, he was part of my circle of indirect control, meaning I had the power to talk and communicate my feelings to him, but he was his own living person. Anyway, now that he's not, he falls completely under my circle of direct control, and that means I have some shopping to do. In previous videos, I've talked about how paying cash actually decreases our spending habits compared to credit. However, for this challenge, paying cash serves a dual purpose, as I'm not leaving a digital trail that could link me back to Cam's murder. Just got back from the stores, and in my travels, managed to pick up one box of construction garbage bags, duct tape, one shovel, two handy dandy disguise kits, three outdoor tarps, they were on sale, so, and one bottle of industrial grade bleach. Hopefully with all these supplies, I should have everything I need to dispose of Cam's body and not leave any traces of evidence behind. While I wait for the sun to go down, the last thing I need to worry about is giving myself plausible deniability that I wasn't anywhere near Cam at the time of his death. So when the police start asking questions, I'll be covered. In Tim Ferriss's four hour work week, he talks about the importance of outsourcing menial tasks to outside workers. That way you free up your own time for the work that's most important. That's why I'm outsourcing this problem using the app Alibi. Alibi provides users with a diverse interface of felons and non-felons alike, willing to testify that you had nothing to do with whatever crime you might be linked. Alibi has matched me with a user who goes by the name Charles B, and he's willing to testify that I spent Thursday night playing Dungeons and Dragons at his place and couldn't have been anywhere close to where Cam's body was found. Now, all that's left is to steal an SUV, wait for sundown, and then the real part of my challenge begins. One of the mistakes most killers make is they try to dispose of their body at high tide, which means you only have a 12 hour window before the tide goes back out and your body's gonna be waiting to be discovered by an early morning jogger. Unfortunately for me, the tide is high right now, which means I'm gonna need to, oh shoot. All I can say is thank goodness I've been prepping for that five minute mile. I mean, he might have gotten away if I hadn't. This is still a major setback for me. I don't want to mince words. Having to bury my body instead of dumping in the ocean is gonna take a lot more time and upping my body count to two really isn't constructive. On the bright side, two bodies is still less than three so and I have- What's going on in there? What are you doing? <sighs> okay, fine. Three, three bodies then. <laughs> it's not doing much more than two, but <laughs> on the downside, I am running out of nighttime, so once again, changing my tactics, adapting on the fly in order to make this goal a complete and total success. They say the definition of insanity is trying the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. That's why for this challenge, I'm not making that mistake and I'm adapting with circumstances whenever they come about. Tonight, tonight. <laughs> 
Hola amigos. I will be lying low for a little while as I work on my next goal, how to learn Spanish in a single flight. My post schedule might be a little irregular in the coming weeks, just so you know, but rest assured I have found a great temporary host to fill in in my absence, and I will let them take this video from here.